Good morning. Here. Here. Dude, freaking, um... What was I gonna say? So it's actually the next day. Next day meaning from, like, where the last video took off. I don't know. Last video was just a buzz. It's weird. Whatever. It's Sunday. I like Sundays. I like Sundays a lot. It sets the pace for the week. My week starts on a Sunday. So training starts on a Sunday. Meal planning slash, like, food for the week starts on Sunday. So I have... One last dish tonight, which I will show you. I ran out of muffins, but I have um a quick steak in there with. <clears throat> I made like a quick little steak stir fry the other night. I'm probably gonna do the same thing. Um, oh, Gianna, the baby, the baby girl brought the baby tree. Um, and we did we did that a little bit last night. We put on some. Actually, just kidding. She fell asleep. We put on Moon Knight. I was watching Moon Knight. Actually, I'm on the last episode. I gotta watch it tonight. Gods versus creatures or some shit like that. I like Moon Knight. I like Moon Knight. Go watch Moon Knight. It's a quick word. So we're making breakfast right now. Um, I came up here to get my stack. The regular revive subs. Which I'll show you exactly what I'm taking. I want some Eggos. Eggos and a bagel. I'm a fucking child. But yeah, I'm just gonna... It's gonna be a quick, fun day today. It'll probably be the sake of the video. Maybe just a quick what I'm eating throughout the day, supplements, and definitely training. We have a back day. And Sunday in the gym, I'm hoping it's kinda, it's like 11 o'clock now. My day's just starting, it's a little easier. So I'm hoping like in like two, three hours, it's kinda like dead at the gym so I can just sit down and have a good old fucking tripod session. So let's get breakfast going. My fake ass influencer, I forgot to. So uh, it's K, no D, D2, I took the other ones already. So um, I'm on D2, K3, omegas, magnesium, turmeric, and I'm waiting. Uh, I ran out of the daily greens. I'm doing the powder. Um, daily greens they also make um, from Revive Subs, obviously. Daily greens, they make the a pill and a powder form, but the powder form, they have chocolate espresso, and I think just a regular green. Um, like what like the regular green flavor like the muster of superfoods and fruits and veggies and shit like that um <clears throat> but i got the chocolate because i do make the protein hot cocoa and stuff like that so i'm just gonna dash that in there um or put it in with a shake more often than not i'm a little more conscious of the sh the shakes and what i also started doing can't get this from revive is immediately when i wake up like i literally just woke up and put on clothes is straight mason jar water that's got to be over that gets close to three servings of a traditional cup of water. So just to kickstart the metabolism, right? Just, I, I don't do, well, one, I don't do coffee. Um, I don't, actually, I don't really think I drink anything but water, if I'm being completely honest. Soda, right? And uh, liquor I'll have occasionally when I'm hanging out with Andy and the guys and stuff like that. But, or like, well, I don't go out, but yeah, I don't think, I mean, juice maybe, but um, like maybe once or twice and that's like with dinner every other day or something like that, but yeah. Gonna, mouth is dry because we just took the vitamins. Gonna take those omegas, finish. Meal, number meal number one, I got Eggos. I'm gonna make a bagel too before the gym. I'm gonna edit yesterday's video in between breakfast and bagel. And then we're gonna head to the gym. We have to do back. Stomping grounds with fucking Dumbass over here that was expecting a free free workout and didn't spend a hundred dollars. Don't make me pull my camera out. <laughs> uh, so I told you guys I was coming regardless. Greg uh, hit me up earlier or was in the chat. I was like, do you guys want to go? I told him I was going within the hour and it just so happened and lined up. So what are you doing today? Uh, chest, and chest and shoulders. Nope, definitely did that yesterday. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna see what the energy's like. If it's gonna be like a vlog gym or just set the tripod down and do a voiceover. I like the voiceovers because we got mics now, so it's kind of sick. Um, I hope my headphones are fucking charged. So here's the thing, these fucking, these Sonys have like 20 something hours of playtime, and I don't charge them because like out of an hour-ish gym session, I mean, I'd be lucky if they last like fucking forever. And then when they die, they take forever to charge. So I threw them on before coming to the gym session today so i just needed to get me through the main movement and then i'll put 2K? the and i'll put the earbuds in 
That's an SC, right? Mm -hmm. SC 300 with no fender. Fucking sick. All right, let's get inside and let's fucking warm up. We are back. Sick. We're warming up a little bit here. Lat pull down and we do single lat. Like the single isolated lat row. Isolation, whatever with the single arm. You know what they're called. Um, back days are a little weird. Back days are a little weird. I got to explain it to you guys. So moving forward, deadlifts are obviously lower day, as you saw. Actually, you just saw deadlifts, but you didn't see a full deadlift day. But in terms of like us moving forward, I'm going to say one thing. They're going to be more like more raw clips at least once to show you how I am moving now in the gym and moving forward. That way I don't have to just like keep reiterating like this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing. I'm just going to show you pull day, upper day, or I'm sorry, pull chest, and then the two different leg days. So one's a hamstring and a squat, uh, on squat oriented and de deadlift hamstring oriented squat oriented is quad said that backwards but look at this fucking position because look at what i'm looking at i don't know what i was thinking recording this position full fit girl but anyways on the back days i arguably i arguably don't do a compound movement so there's not that much stimulant but what i do normally do is a shit ton of accessories a lot of back downs heavy sets drop sets and I plan on explaining that in, again, the future clips when me and Andy are back on routine, which I believe is tonight. It is a Monday, and I'm excited. So, these are just a couple of the staples that I do do on the back day. Me, most importantly right now, and I'm probably going to leave the clip of, actually the thumbnail of this video is going to be my physique update. But what I do want to work on, and um, me and Andy were talking about it this morning, is the lower trap. The rear delts are coming up. The... Erectors are coming back because of deadlifts, but then I want to work on my mid back. I don't want it to just drown in the width um, because I'm do I've done a lot for that in the past and I'm still doing that. But I do want to tap into more like close grip stuff, whether it be the mag stuff or just the regular iron grip stuff. So plenty of that moving forward. I'm punching in on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Deleting the whole. Format that SD card right now. <laughs> We're done. I'm done. Greg's done. So Greg pushed, obviously. Um, yeah, I think the voiceover was pretty cool. It was a little weird today. A lot of moms and dads here. A lot of moms and dads in here as I'm recording right now. And there's an assault bike going on behind me, so I don't know if you can hear me, but pretty sick. Yo, that plate has been there. There's a 45 pound plate, like right there. That's been there since like three days. That's so kind of fucking sick. So. We're gonna get home, show you what we're eating. We gotta go food shopping tonight too. Steak. Whoa, look at that fog. Steak. It's like steak, macaroni, broccoli, corn, stir fry. It's a tenderloin. I bought two different types of meat last time. That was weird. I'm gonna go food shopping tomorrow. Um, I just caught up with, gee, she had a, well, not a long day at work, but she was working. And now she has to study slash work because she's approaching finals and stuff but i actually made her i just gave her half of what i'm eating because she's not that's a lot for her that's a little for me but that's a lot that's enough for her just because portions are weird so i'm gonna eat this drive that over to her and then let's get back i'm gonna make i'm gonna have to make more food because i gave her half of my portion but yeah let me explain like programming and all that stuff moving forward with gym and stuff like that and then we have another meal coming in food food food, food. focus 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 Fastest transition ever. There was food in here two seconds ago. She ate it. So we were supposed to uh, go to the grocery store after that. Um, dropping off. I was just going to go drop off food, honestly, and then just go straight to the grocery store because it was on the way home. I ended up trying to stay, well, attempting to stay and trying to help her with homework. But there's a reason why she's in, like, the end of her college career trying to figure out certain things and i just can't figure it out on a whim i'm usually pretty good with the programs in terms of like excel and shit like that but she was using google sheets and i just couldn't figure it out so i mean i tried i fed her i did like 50 percent of the fucking thing so i also wanted to make pancakes but i don't think i'm gonna make pancakes so cereal milk with cereal milk cereal with whey protein milk it is and then on to explaining my program now it's super late um, I was on the computer doing some work. Um, 
Yeah, so in terms of the actual essence of the programming, it is super straightforward. Um, it's a Russian style of training. It's off of um, Boris Shako, I believe. So his learnings and his lessons in powerlifting as a whole is where the strength portion of all of it is orientating. And as you can see, just getting back into the swing of things because there's about what like two ish months two three ish months before i decide to show um new zealand is still you know the, well the goal is pro card right now was new zealand but the goal is just pro card right now so if there's something later in the year if that just does, doesn't happen like that is the earliest show i can do but definitely pro card for the year but i'm happy where strength is at 405 420 even off the floor was like, you know, so even 405, given the way it moved off of the four inch deficit is, is fucking phenomenal. Um, squat could have moved a little better. Deficit, I mean, honestly, I'm happy. I'm really happy with the, with the deadlifts, but the definitely given that I was up at Tommy's all day, literally went in, slammed two scoops of pre, went and pulled that, and then we went and moved the couch with Andy. Like as much of a, clusterfuck as that last video was is, is what it was and the fact that i was able to do that on the dime pretty much was awesome so gonna probably elaborate more as the strength block now takes over and i'm going to in the next video probably lead with these damn fucking boards that i keep talking about but i want to show you guys how i'm orientating just goals aspirations and stuff like that because it's important it's something i think a lot of young-minded people can learn from even if it's not a board that size just like write it down on your fucking ipad i'm sorry your iphone just in terms of like things you want to scratch off whether it be with training with work with i don't know with money with goals cars mods whatever just it's positive affirmations the way it works in the mindset so just doing stuff like that scratching off the list and do something small and realize that like you are because the mindset at which it works and subconsciously whether you're acknowledging it or not, the efforts that you're putting forward in terms of doing the small goals every day, right? That's why the whole, like, make your bed in the morning is, like, a big deal. It's just starting off getting something, an easy task done. As you learn to progress and hold yourself accountable and you raise your integrity to that much of a higher extent, you then realize that you're capable of a lot more than what you think you're capable of. And the goals start getting a little bigger on a daily basis before you know it weekly goals get written off monthly goals get written off and then good day leads to a good week good week leads to a good month good month leads to a good year do that two three years in a row and to the races like comment subscribe catch you guys in the next one